The eastern wild turkey was once common across East Texas. However, due to subsistence and market hunting and extensive habitat loss around the turn of the 20th century, the bird was all but wiped out in East Texas. In 1940, the Game, Fish, and Orchard Commission estimated that there was less than 100 turkeys remaining in East Texas. Restoration efforts have been ongoing for decades. In the mid-1950s, uh, the Game, Fish, and Orchard Commission began an effort to restore eastern wild turkeys using pin-raised birds. Those efforts were all unsuccessful, and today it's illegal to release pin-raised turkeys into the wild. In 1979, Texas Parks and Wildlife began an effort releasing wild-trapped eastern turkeys into the wild. The method they used was referred to as block stocking. The block stocking method uh, requires taking 15 to 20 birds and releasing them in 5 to 10 locations across the county. Those efforts were successful in limited areas, and in 2003, Texas Parks and Wildlife ended the block stocking era after releasing close to 7,000 eastern wild turkeys. Today we estimate that we have a population of about 10,000 eastern wild turkeys in East Texas. In 2000, Dr. Roel Lopez published his research looking at a new method of stocking turkeys in East Texas. His research, which was conducted during the latter part of the block stocking era, found that stocking 15 to 20 birds per site often resulted in limited success due to high mortality and low reproductive effort in the first year following release. Dr. Ola Lopez's models suggested that releasing higher densities of birds would provide better opportunities for success even in less suitable, less favorable conditions such as drought or poor habitat. Following Dr. Ola Lopez's model, Texas Parks and Wildlife funded research through Stephen F. Fawson State University in 2007. Four study sites were stocked with, or super stocked with 80 birds per site, 20 males, and 60 hens. The research conducted at Stephen F. Austin proved fruitful, and today Texas Parks and Wildlife has reopened our stocking program using the super stocking method. Texas Parks and Wildlife is, is currently evaluating properties across East Texas. Some of the key variables when we evaluate habitats for potential super stockings are looking at brood bearing habitat, nesting cover, and overall usable space. We're looking for woody cover, approximately waist high to knee high, covering about 20 to 30 percent of the landscape. We're also looking for diverse openings consisting of native warm season grasses and forbs. So managing landscapes that provide good open understory, park-like settings, diverse native grasslands and low-grown woody cover is ideal habitat for the eastern wild turkey and directs parks and wildlife on restoration efforts. The key to restoration of the wild turkey in East Texas is private landowners. These landowners control over 95% of the landscape in East Texas. Unfortunately, the average property size is about three to 500 acres. So working with your neighbors will be key to pulling together that 10,000 acre minimum for restoration to occur. Key management practices such as prescribed fire, timber thinning, and native grass restoration are all practices that landowners can incorporate on their land. Many landowners don't have experience with these type of practices. So working with your local resource agency, such as Texas Parks and Wildlife, AgriLife Extension, or the Nature Conservancy can help direct you and provide management plans on how to accomplish these, these management practices on the ground.